Time to go back to the scene of the crime for some goddamn reason. Oh, look. Look at what? New Aiden. The location is great, so it seems like it always does, always does good business. What should I do? Oh! Fuck it, why not? Yeah! <laughs> oh, it's so dumb. Hell yeah! Woohoo! Good to know. Uh ohs. What could that be? Ah, whatever. I'll look at that later. It's not important right now. What is important is for Kiri to not go to the scene of the crime and get his fingerprints all over it again. But apparently that's what we're doing. Oh god, where the F even is it? Over here? Kind of? A little? No. Ah, oh, Jesus. This is the way. Down this shady ass hallway. Oh. Uh oh. Really? I am not in for this right now. And. Oh! I need to get some more moves. Nope. Nope. Oh, dodge. Oh, there's a lot here. Anything I can pick up? No. There's a lot of them. Holy crap. Actually, I'm just gonna go with beast mode just so I can get through them. Even if there's like nothing to use, like, it's still pretty good. Oh, that is the good shit. Beast is broken in a way that I appreciate. Oh. Oh, shit. It's time to... Yeah, there it is. Oh! I used him and beat up! Oh my god! I can't believe I used him and beat up all his buddies! That's amazing! Uh, and the worst part is, I, I deserved them to beat me because I, like, pushed them and shit. Oh. Oh, we're getting there. We're getting there. Uh, what the fuck? Really? Up the fucking lap? Fine. Like, I don't understand what is so great about this location. It's like, literally in the middle of all the buildings. Like, it can't be good. Like, they can't even do- they can't build anything here. Look at it! It's too tiny! Alright, here I go. Oh my god, they didn't clean up the blood? I figured once the police investigation was done, they clean up the blood. Yeah, that's how you left him, but like... Hey! Tachibana! Sup? Did you not believe Oda? Which is Tachibana. great. Don't believe Oda. Oda's snitching did not pay off. Glad to glad to know. To see me. Well, that makes sense. Then why are you here? Okay. Or he just did it himself. He seems like the kind of dude that would be like that kind of a shit. Can't leave it to the meanless gloons. Oh, really? It's probably all three of them. It's probably all three of the fucking lieutenants so they can at least all try and get the captain spot. Yes. Obviously, that's why he's here. Good. Oh, yeah. I'm so glad Hachiban is a pro and believes me. He believes me so much he's in the flesh here. Yeah, because Oda's a punk ass bitch. Ooh! Hell yeah! But this is the thing. 
This lot is like nothing. It's nothing. You can't even do shit with it. I can totally stay alive. I'm really good at doing that. Although Kiryu is doesn't seem like he's paying that much attention. Well, he knows who the owner is. He just has to find them, apparently. Yeah, fuck them. I won't. I mean, Nishiki's my bro, but yeah, I won't tell anybody. Why the fuck would you say that like you're considering it, you son of a bitch? See? Cause Tachibana knows I'm the real fucking shit! He knows I wouldn't fucking bitch out and fucking tattle to the fucking Yakuza. What a pro! What a pro! Just don't die, please. Please, Tachibana, don't die. Oda can die, cause fuck Oda. Now let's wait for word from Tachibana. But lot is. Look, look at it. Look at it. Unless this is also part of the lot, but I fucking doubt it. It's probably part of that building there. This little, little, tiny lot. This is what this is all about. Look at this. It's nothing. It's fucking. Look how fucking nothing it is. It's ridiculous. What the fuck are they gonna put here? Nothing! I cannot believe all this fucking hustle for that fucking little dinky piece of land. Oh, what the hell? Well there, buddy, not so fast. Mugging thug, huh? Who the hell is that dude? You plan to just waltz past without a word? You went through here, you gotta pay the toll. Really? Because I walked through and I didn't have to pay shit. So where the fuck were y'all at? What the fuck? Why does he look so weird? A shakedown. I feel bad for the guy, but I can't really afford to get involved right now. You say that about everything and I always make you get involved. Oi, you mute or something, Blondie? If you don't want to get hurt, let's see some cash already. Ho ho, if you insist, just be sure you pick it all up, hmm? Eh? Huzzah! You just throwing your money around? What the hell? Whoa! It's money! This is a weird ass mugging. Right on! I never seen so much dough in one place. Jesus. Whoa, hey, I have my hand on that one first. Keep your grubby mitts off my dough. That's actually that dude's dough. He just threw it on the ground for you guys and you're scavenging for it like goddamn vultures. Shut up and move your freaking leg. <laughs> Oh ho ho, my my. Peasants truly are a sordid lot. Huh. Uh. Hmm? Oh ho, did you want some of my money as well? I mean, no, but I'll take some free money. Who the fuck is gonna pass up free money? Cure you, apparently. No. Then I shall be on my merry way. Till next time, cheers. Good. Wait, do you always throw wads of cash just to clear the road like that? But of course, why? At the point you cough up the money, it's no different from getting mugged. I mean, it is being mugged. There's just because he froze it in a fancy way doesn't change the fact that he just got mugged. <laughs> oh ho, oh, I suppose commoners just can't understand. Who the f fucking commoner? What the hell are you, Prince Philip? Get the fuck out of here. Uh? Excuse me? You see, when you're not just wealthy, but obscenely rich, fiscal capital is like dust. It just accumulates, gets in the way, really. That was loose change. I won't miss it. If you're so disgustingly rich that you can just throw money at people, why not use it for good? Like fucking charities and shit. Go. On the other hand, having my precious time wasted by base ruffians like them is a serious loss. If I can buy that b time back with coin, why, I'll pay as much as it takes. Mr. Moneybags Fukushima. Does that mean there's other Mr. Moneybags? Buying time, literally, is- Wait, I'm not actually gonna buy time, right? Precisely so. Why not give it a try, if you're curious? Um, give what a try? Buying time, apparently. I guess Kiryu's gonna become a Time Lord or some shit. 
Let fly with a great whopping lot of wealth. Yep. Oh, no, I wouldn't. I'm just not in that big of a rush, honestly. Mm hmm? Hmm? Truly, have you never been out on a stroll and felt the other positions were in your way? Not ever? Well, sure, I guess a few times. Ho <laughs> oh, ho, you see? Then give it a try right now. I'm sure you'll feel the thrill of sending those human hurdles scattering. Hmm, sure, but I don't have that much cash to burn on a whim. Not to worry. I will be your financier this one time as a special gift. You oh, he's gonna let me enjoy being rich for like five seconds. You need to focus only on enjoying the rush of fleeing cash confetti. Okay, deal. This is so fucking weird. If you're really gonna pay for it, I'll give it a go. Okay, how is this gonna work? Press square while walking around the city to take a handful of your money and fling it in the air. Anyone who buy a flock to the cash to grab what they can. Keep in mind the next time you're in a hurry. Try, try using it to attract the woman behind you. Um. Okay, I thought I could move. Jesus! Look at them! Huh? On narrow streets and alleys, you'll often find your way completely blocked by punks eager for a fight. Walking around them simply is an option. You see. Oh, so it's a way to get past fighting! That's fine. I mean, if I'm gonna make a lot of money doing the real estate shit, I could burn it on, like, passing through fights. Distracting with a mountain of cash, however, is... is. They're literally put the chance to fill the pockets. Give it a try now and save yourself a headache. Alright. Oh, I can't move again. I keep thinking I can move to get closer to them. They get so excited for the money. <laughs> now slowly start past them while they're busy scrabbling. Each other pick it up. <gasps> Woo! Hey! By judiciously wasting money, you can buy your way out of the most unnecessary conflict. Keep it in mind the next time you're in a hurry. That's cool. I'll have to give it a try. Next time I'm like... You know, it's actually be really useful. A lot of times I like have to like... Serpentine my way past dudes or take a long way just to get to my objective. So this will actually save some time. Oh, truly magnificent money blasting. For a moment, I completely forgot you were merely another pleban. <sighs> you know what? You helped me out and you gave me some money to do the tutorial, so I'm going to let that slide. It's the only one you're getting. Hmm, is that what being rich is like? Honestly, I can't say it feels very good to waste it like that. Perhaps, but aren't there times when you're far too hurried to be embroiled in the petty squabbles of the underclass? That's not... Okay, yeah. <laughs> he was gonna scream, no! No, no, no! Right? Really? Whoever said time is money is an utter buffoon. Time is the far more precious resource. It's finite. Fair enough. I can see a weird sort of logic to that. Then I've made my case. Take my advice, if you're ever in danger of being dragged into a menial fight, just let loose with a heaping helping of leaguer tender. So, you're clearly loaded. But how'd you earn all that cash? He's probably like a, a cash baby. Like, his parents earned it or some shit. Ho, oh, I take it you're caught in a case of money fever. Hmm. Maybe. I'm just thinking it'd be convenient if there was a quick way to make some extra cat money. Common sense tells me that's crazy to wish for, but I might as well ask. How is it crazy to wish for money? Oh, but there is. What is it? Seriously? The very epitome of high risk, high return. It's been my golden goose, and now I dine on diamond foy 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 grass. It being head for theater square. If you're truly a man of means, you'll find your way there. Huh, what am I looking for? Oh, you'll know it when you see it. Paradise exclusively reserved for the upper elegance of wealth and taste. Though naturally, that isn't my only source of income. I have quite the diverse portfolio. Or, or should I say we, put most of our capital to work in a certain system that gives rise to considerable profits. Who's this we shit? If you wish to hear more about that as well, drop by Vincent. You'll find more- you'll find me there most of the time. Vincent. Got it. This has been a most stimulating use of my time. Ta-ta! What a weirdo. Time to go to Theater Square though and see what the fuck he was talking about. Screw going to bed. Hachibana may have new intel tomorrow, but that doesn't mean everything will be over then. I should tuck away as much cash as I can now, so I'm ready for whatever comes. He said I'd find a way to make big money at Theater Square. It's worth a look. Alright, he's gonna let me go. Shit, that's the wrong way. Ah, shit. Wait, what am I gonna do? I don't want anything to do with the criminal underground, but I finally got a promotion and managed this place all on my own. Uh-ohs. Oh, excuse me, sir. What's up, dude? Are you talking to me? 
Yes. I'm sorry to spring this on you, but are you for hire? I need someone discreet. Let me show you to my place. Wow. I didn't... Oh my god, his face... I'm sorry, but I'm interested in any hanky panky with you. Ah, oh, come on, Kiryu. He's not a bad looking dude. What? Oh no, that's not what I meant. I swear. I need protection. You can provide it, no? Yes. Uh? Protection or not, I am not doing it with you. Wait, what? <laughs> I get it. Oh. Oh. oh my gosh. Kiryu, thank you for that. Sorry, but I'm not with the Yakuza. You're not? I'm very sorry. I had the wrong idea. You have this intimidating aura, see? So I just assumed. Anyway, why do you need protection? That is a good question. I'm the manager of this restaurant. We're about to add another line of business on the side, and I thought I'd better arrange protection with the local, um, boss. Usually business negotiations like that with one of the local families. There's no one boss of Kamarocho who'd protect you. Uh, with all the land getting bought up in this area, almost all the tenants are gone. No Yakuza family want to offer you protection. That shit. Uh, oh, I'm in bigger trouble than I realized. I you seem to know a lot about these things, though. Would you mind giving me some advice? Sure. Can't really discuss it in public. Could we step inside the restaurant? Oh, fine. I got time. I got time. All right, fine. Thank you so much. Please, come this way. I hope this isn't another trap. Hopefully he's not a bitch like Oda. Oh wow, this is a really nice place. This is Dragon and Tiger's... Dragon and Tiger. Kamurocho Branch. The owner runs the original restaurant in Sonboro! <gasps> oh, that's the fucking place there! Majima gets his items and weapons and shit! Kiryu gets his own one?! Oh, shit! Sonboro, huh? The owner there has devoted most of his time and energy in a secondary line of business, and now he's instructing me to follow suit. Kiryu's gonna get some weapons! What's the business? Uh. I trust you can keep a secret. He deals in weapons and other gear of that sort. Mm. Guns, is that it? That's a dangerous trade. Mm. He's a weapons enthusiast. Dealing in weapons and other combat gear from all around the world has been a dream of his. I said enthusiast, but his wife would call him a maniac. He has a network of angels to send him. Yes! I can't believe Kiryu gets it too! That's so nuts! Oh, that's a man who's serious about his hobbies. His wife must be quite a character to put up all of that. His wife is great. And it seems he met an interesting customer recently and they counter breathe new life into his secret trade! That's Majma! Oh, man. How cool would it be if Majma and Kiryu met? He's now single-mindedly pursuing a new goal, which is to provide the un that unusual customer with the finest equipment he can find or make. And that's why he's now telling me to sell weapons and gear here as well, to get feedback from Kamarocha buyers on usability. Mm. That's a pretty tall order. Mm. I trained to become a chef at this restaurant in Sotobora, so I'm aware of his side business, but that doesn't mean I'm comfortable selling weapons myself. He taught me everything I know, so I'd do anything for him, but this... I'm afraid of the police, and even more afraid of the Yakuza coming after me. Is it just weapons and gear? Any other illegal stuff? No, nothing else. But we would also repair worn down or broken weapons too. I mean, that if you're selling the weapons, that, that's kind of a given. Also, when the Sword and Bro branch gets something new, the owner will make replicas so we can offer it here in Kamarocho too. He must have some real skills. A staff or something, sure, but guns too? Yeah. It's what he spends almost all his time on, after all. But despite his skills, the sales are meager because he's terribly picky about new customers. But yeah, but at least his restaurant's doing good. You should follow his example here. One blabbermouth and you'll be in big trouble. You're right. In that case, would you be our first customer? Hell yeah! Nani. Are you serious? Dead serious. You seem tight-lipped, and having a regular customer like you would come in handy in case we do run into trouble with the Yakuza. He's got a point. I don't much fancy being their go-to guy for Yakuza problems, but I might need that sort of equipment. It's not like there's a lot of other shops uh. like this. Fine, it's a deal. I'll come by when I need something. My name's Kiryu. <laughs> it's a pleasure to make your acquaintance, Kiryu-san. The owner will be delighted when I tell him the news. Is he gonna mention me to fuck a body, That'd be great. You can now purchase, sell, and repair equipment. Damn. Uh, I should give him one. Yes, I should give him one. Let's do it one. Uh, bye. Oh, I don't- I can't send people out? Show me what you got? Huh. 
Okay. Okay. I thought I could send an agent out. But I guess it makes sense that I can't because it's just a branch. But that's cool. So Kiryu gets it too. Huh. Well, that's good to know. But other than that, let's go. Hey. I wonder if I can use that money trick to make Mr. Shakedown go away. Because that would be cool. That would be great, even. Oh. It's around there. Around the bend. Alright. Let's go. Hopefully. Hopefully it's really good. I'm assuming it's something like... Oh. That rich guy said I should go to Theater Square if I want to make big money. That's right. Hmm? I've been waiting all day for this. Excuse me, my good man. <laughs> right this way, sir. Okay. Hmm. Beyond the door. Ooh. Let's fucking find out. Beyond the door. Oh. <laughs> Enjoy your stay. Okay. Oh my god, is that a vault? That looked like a vault. Hold the shit, it is a vault! Where does that door go? Let's go find out. What is this door? There's definitely something behind it. Let's go in. Sorry, pal. That's not open to you. Fuck, why not? I saw you let a guy in. What's in there? Heh. <laughs> you think I come right out and say it? Well, let's just say it's a paradise for men. A place where dreams come true. Isn't it, like, gambling? I just assumed it was, like, a hidden casino or some shit. A place where dreams come true. Yes, a real-life wonderland. Got your interest up? Yeah, let me get in. It does make me curious. What do I have to do to get in? Heh. <laughs> I'm the decider, actually. I say who goes in. You want in? You gotta win my approval. Okay. How do I do that? Huh. Alright. So what do I need to do to impress you? This place is a paradise for the wealthy. If you don't have the bread, you can't afford the dessert. I have to see that you've got enough cash to make a splash. Not only that, I want to see that you've got the balls to do it with style. Oh, so you just want me to flash my money? I'll flash my money. You prove that to me, I'll let you in. You use your noggin and figure it out. Paradise for the wealthy. This is definitely the place that crazy rich guy was talking about. So I have to show this guy of money to burn and the willingness to burn it. I'm just gonna throw the money. Throw the money! What do you think you're doing? Have you lost your mind? <laughs> Just showing you that I've got cash to burn and I'm not afraid to set it on fire. Yeah, see? Is that wrong? Wow, I never thought I'd see a guy literally toss money onto the pavement. You got a screw loose? Does that mean I impressed you? Can I go in? I like the cut of your jib, though. You can come in. <laughs> Hell yes! Right this way! Let me in, let me in. I'm very curious. It... The way he described it, what the hell? It's wrestling? What is this place? It's the official arena of the JCC. Japan Cat Fight Club? Really? Sexy little vits and scrape it out in an arena filled with beauty and ugliness, and men bet big wages on the winner. That's what this place is about. So this is a this place just for horny dudes to just like look at ladies beating themselves up. Oh, look, I see some lesbians in the background. Hey! A feast for the eyes. An exciting chance is to double the fun by making money laying bets. A pleasure place for men, I called it. And that's what it is. Not exactly subtle, not entirely fine, but who cares? Not me. <laughs> oh, here. Take this back. It's yours. Cool, I got my money back. I mean, I don't need it, but it's nice to have it. What's this? The cash you burned. It was a real joy to watch it floating around, so I scooped it all up back up for you. Use it to have fun in here, pal. Good luck to you. Alright, let's do it. Uh, yeah. Let's go. I'll bet on it. Let's let's see how this works. Cat fights, huh? Never expected to find that going on in Kamarocho. What a gaudy place. He <laughs> is so not into it, but I bet I can make money here. Even with the risk, it's worth a shot. Let's go fucking do it then this is this is uh gulp yeah same 
It's just weird. But fuck it. I'll give it a try. I'll give it the old college try. What the hell? Cat fights are high-risk, high term. If I play it right, it feels like I could turn a hefty profit quick. I got a new way to make big bucks. What I really need now is some sleep. Time to rest up for tomorrow. What the hell? I want to do the thing. Why would it show me it and then won't live? What? You're not the dude. Come on in. He was not there before. It was some other guy. Welcome to Japan, Cat Fight Club, sir. Please enjoy the show. Enter. Let's go. How does this work exactly? Oh! Shit. Uh, how to play. Thank you. The cat fight tournaments, eight contestants via for victory. Place your bet on the one you think you'll win. The payout depends on the odds and the wagered amount. There are two ways to bet. Bet on the contestant you think will win the tournament. Predict the winner of each match in a tournament. In the second case, there is a set fee to participate. You can decide whether to take part in it or not. Okay. You can influence the outcome of matches by cheering for your chosen contestant. There are two ways to do this. Rock, paper, scissors. At certain points during the match, you can select from rock, paper, or scissors. The winning contestant will dish out a powerful move. Button mashing. Oh, goody. My favorite. At certain points during the match, you may be called on to cheer your contestant on by pushing buttons as rapidly mm, as you can. Rock, paper, scissors select their background, and the matchup indicator changes colors based on the predicted power of the net's move. From weakest to strongest, the colors are white, blue, green, red, and rainbow. Keep in mind that whether your character does a special move or not depends on the outcome of the rock, paper, scissors. These colors are there to give you an idea of what to expect, and they can change while the contestants are still grappling. Sometimes a move of a different strength may be used. Okay. Things to consider when picking a winner. Attack. This is the damage amount of each type of move. Opponents are more likely to use their strongest moves. Fight record. The graph shows how well a contestant did in the past. Longer bars indicate more wins. Special ability. These powerful moves have a chance to be triggered during a match. Information. Updates about the contestant's status are shown at the bottom of the screen. Initiative. Jesus, there's a lot. Ugh. Has a chance to launch a preemptive attack at the beginning of a match. Fertility. Has a chance to restore health during a match. Always good. Endurance. When in critical condition, the fighter has a chance to return to the match with restored health. That's even better. Comeback. When in critical condition, the fighter has a chance to win the match in a dramatic comeback. Ooh. For the underdogs. Okay. Look at the fighters. Oh, come on, girl. Why do you gotta start off? I, I, I haven't even seen her face. Are you serious? Oh, okay, great. I'm so glad. Jesus. Occupation theme pop mascot. Huh. Alright, so she's pretty, 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 pretty good. Oh, fuck off. This one's a pop idol. Jesus. Oh, come on! This one did really good. This one has a really good chance of winning. Oh my god, can we not with the fucking poses? Oh, this one's really good too. It's chance to initiative. Okay. We got. Oh, she was the one that was in the cutscene. Okay, so she's not bad. Holy shit, this one's really good. Look at her history. Okay. Ooh, Francisca's pretty good too. Ooh. Oh, Maria has no fucking chance. Okay. So, I should probably bet on someone. Hmm. Jesus, I really wish they would stop doing that. I think I'm gonna go for this one. Momoko. Momoko. Okay. Oh, wait, there's information. Ray just got back from her theme park job. Yukiko bumps into a producer, spilling his coffee. Momoko. Chief Pursuer didn't come in today. Okay. That's a bit weird. But whatever. Let's go for this one. Oh, I can't do it. Alright. Buy a ticket. Bet on a fighter to win. I'm gonna go bet with, uh... Oh! So I have to do it like this one. Okay. Um... She's a bit of an underdog, but I'm gonna go for a Momoko. Okay. Making large bets may affect the odds. Yeah, let's do that. Why not? Yes. Okay, let's see how this works. Hope it doesn't get any creepier. Are you ready for a cat fight? 
Okay, let's go. Really, this part's in English? She's like getting up. She's getting ready for it. I will admit, they are very pretty. Which is the point. But also, oh shit. Shit, okay. Uh, I'm gonna go with this one. Come on. Oh, shit. Fuck. Oh, no. Oh, that did a lot. Right in the throat. Ooh, that is way more brutal than I thought it'd be. Okay. Okay, um, so she did square, so she'll probably do scissors, so I'm gonna go rock. No, I want rock! Yes! Yes! Rainbow! Oh! Shit! What is she? Wait. She's... Oh! No! She's trying to block it! That did so much fucking damage! Alright, so now she did that. She did the sc uh, uh, Oh, shit. So she's probably gonna do... Uh, shit. Yes! Come on, come on, come on! Yeah! Rock, paper, scissors! Basics, holy crap! Damn it, we still got more to go! Ooh, she's superior! She's getting there! Okay, we got- um... Alright, she did fucking- what did she do? Shit, I'm gonna go- oh, uh, fucking rock! Oh! Fuck! Come on! Damn it! That's gonna fuck me over, isn't it? Oh! Yeah! <gasps> Shit! Damn it! I'm not good at mashing! So she did rock, so she's not gonna do... She's probably gonna do paper, so I'm gonna do scissors. What the fuck?! You goddamn hoe! Oh shit! <gasps> oh, oh! She Wait, no, no, no! She still got a little bit of health. She still had a little bit of health. That's bullshit. That is bullshit. Ah, oh, damn. Okay, buy a ticket. No, wait. I don't want to do that again. Ah, oh, it's fucking weird. Oh! It's gonna show me how bad I- wait. Before, after- how did I have 37? Thank you for your- how do I have 37? It said I had 37,000- a million! I don't have 37 million! I went in with 26!